I just tested this device in Orlando. WiMAX 4G connectivity is here. You can see the blue. So you've heard of Freedom Pop. You want to know if it's free, if it's really free, and if it's legit. I signed up for it, but I noticed a few things when signing up that you got to watch out for if you sign up. First is the default option is one free month. You have to manually select 500 megs, 4G only. And 4G only really means 4G only. So it's only going to work in areas that have 4G access. This is the device that I got. I paid about $50 for it. Um, it's it's a it's an old refurbished Sprint 3G 4G MiFi device. The battery life is pretty low on it. It doesn't last that long. But it was a one-time fee of $50, and now I have free 4G internet for life as long as I'm in a location that has 4G WiMAX uh, connectivity. It took a little bit to get to my house, maybe 14 days. From an interview I watched, I learned that it operates, uh, they, they purchase bulk bandwidth from Clearwire. And I think Clearwire also owns Clear, which is a service that you may see in your area. Another thing to look out for when you sign up for the account is the account by default will automatically purchase more bandwidth or more data as you get to a certain threshold and it'll buy like one gig for ten dollars now you could turn that feature off which I did so I the way my account right now is it's really 4G for free for life or as long as they stay in business uh, so that's something if you do sign up make sure if you don't want to have it automatically re-up you for a fee make sure you turn that off here's a tip when signing up what I did was I went to Target and I bought one of those prepaid Visa credit cards that when you activate it you could provide a name and an address so that you could use this card on the internet uh, to, to do transactions and I did this so that in the event that Freedom Pop was some sor sort of a scam or if they were charging me in ways I didn't want to be charged at least the funds would eventually uh, expire. So I've had this device for a couple months now. I haven't been charged a single dollar other than what I paid for to get the MiFi device. I used it in the city of Miami as well as Jacksonville and Orlando. So in those in the major cities in Florida it does seem to work. In fact I was in I was driving in the car in downtown Miami and I was able to stream YouTube from my Wi-Fi only iPad in the car. It was actually an iPad mini. If you want to kind of get a feel for the company, I saw this excellent interview, which I'll have the link in the description below. Uh, it was on This Week in Startups with the CEO of Freedom Pop. The guy is pretty cool. He gave a great interview. And the guy interviewing him asked a lot of good pressing questions that will answer a lot of questions you might have about the company, how they make money, and how they plan to do business going forward in the future. If you live in a major city that has 4G WiMAX uh, available, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't want to have a Freedom Pop device just for backup, if anything. It's an extra 500 megs per month. So if you're on a, a cell phone data plan that you know, you're running out of data, get one of these devices and you're up by 500 megs per month for free. There's no monthly fee. And you could also earn extra bandwidth and stuff from programs they have. Battery life on this is pretty lame. If I was to do it again, I'd probably get the Freedom Pop sleeve for the iPod Touch. Uh, but for free, this ain't that bad. So if you were wondering about Freedom Pop, I'm saying it's legit. I did have a friend of mine sign up for the account, and she still hasn't received her device yet. So uh, it's not a flawless... So not everybody has the same experience that I had. And it actually works. So if Freedom Pop is telling the truth, I have free internet, 500 megs per month, for life. So while that's not going to allow me to stream much movies or anything, I could check my email, hopefully for an entire month, for an entire year every month, without ever having to pay a single dollar. Why this is interesting is that this device can be purchased by anybody with access to a computer so it literally ends the digital divide. There's no reason every person in the United States couldn't have internet, free internet, 
free internet for free anymore. There's no exclusions. Anybody can order this. So thanks to Freedom Pop, everyone in the United States could have free internet. The link is below if you want to buy it. All right, so to demonstrate this thing actually works, I don't expect you to take my word for it. I'm just some guy on the internet, and I could be lying to you. And we can see freedompop underscore e 38.